Come on, Come on in. What happened to the kids? Oh, <laughs> I left my heels and they were gone. You have to bring your own. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I love it. Oh, isn't the baby doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's what you're doing. You're meetings? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. What time? 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. All right. So, what we have here oh. is are you ready? The public hearing is second. You have an item before that, right? Yeah. Okay. We're not in the public hearing yet. Oh, we're. Oh, I thought you said. No. It's, okay. okay. It's regarding a. We're gonna create reconvene as the board of commissioners. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it together, right? We'll do the journal entry first. Yes. Okay, so what we are doing, are, we have a project in the village of Mandalay. Um, it's a, improvements are being uh, proposed to a small block of buildings located on the east side of Maine and North Prospect Street. Um, the block of, building, block of buildings is currently accessible only by sets of uneven and steep stairs with um, no railings for protection. They're, 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 the project's Compr uh, comprised of two parts. One being they want to rebuild the sidewalks and steps, um, create a new patio area with retaining wall, and set the steps to the new patio and walkway uh, level along with an ADA compatible access ramp at the north end of the walk. Um, ADA parking will be um, added near the ramp entry, and they're going to provide continuous railings with handrails at the stair uh, and ramp uh, would also be included. The estimate for this part of the project is $180,041. Mm -hmm. The second part of this project, they, um, they want to uh, restore the or uh, renew the storefronts and facade of the building, um, including masonry restoration of the storefront. That piece is estimated at $175,016, so total project amount is $355,057. The maximum grant amount that we can request under the uh, downtown revitalization target of opportunity grant is two hundred fifty thousand. Of that, which includes uh, twenty up to twenty five thousand for uh, administration. Oh, administration. Um, the applicants or the owners of the um, building will be required to commit um, money towards the project or the difference the difference okay. in this particular case will have to commit the difference and they're in a position to do so and yeah i've got um commitments in writing um actually um from each of the property owners okay or business owners um we need uh we are requesting permission to submit a pre-application okay. for for the downtown revitalization target of opportunity program and the free application is statements the state will start accepting them starting on the 15th okay so it would be Sounds great good. yeah and this is related to the restoration project restoration 44 project they had mm -hmm. to pay there right. yeah and they also the restoration butcher shop, butcher shop. Yeah, yeah so it's the same people so it's that, looking real good look really nice once they get it yeah they have done a real nice job yeah, yeah. Downtown, yeah. okay so you need to approve a journal entry that's for you Board of Commissioners moves to authorize Chris, Sabrina Christie Bennett, President of the Board, to sign the free application downtown revitalization 2021 target opportunity grant and allow the Portage County Regional Planning Commission to submit pre application on behalf of the, as presented by the Regional Planning Commission. Second. Roll call, Tony? Yes. Vicky? Yes. Sabrina? Yes. Okay. Um, we'll recess the Board of Commissioners and we will go into the public meeting for the Critical Infrastructure Grant for Maple Grove Road and Wyndham Village. Yeah, at 1030. Oh, wait. Oh, is it 1030? Yeah, it's public hearing. Oh, we have 15 minutes for this. 10 minutes. Oh, okay. At 1030, we'll do this. So stay tuned. We'll recess, I guess, until we're With those grants, how long does it usually take to, uh, once they 
application process? How long does the state take to? When we submit a free application, usually within a couple of weeks, they'll notify us and let us know that the full application can be accessed through the, through the state. Mm -hmm. um, once it's submitted, usually they give us like three weeks to really pull it all together and submit the application, but usually within, I don't know, a month. Um, so they can feasibly start in August or September on this project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, they have to do the competitive bid. The bid. Yeah. Well, not only that, you have to do an environmental review and obtain release of funds, and then we got to certify and appropriate the grant funds through the county. You know how government is. So sometime this passed. winter, they will so <laughs> it would probably. So if, if I had to give wager, I guess it would be early next year before oh. we'll be able to get a part of the year. Okay, your walk. first term. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, things don't quite move as fast as we like okay. sometimes, but. I just wasn't aware of how long so. Yeah. Six, seven months, eight months. Yeah. So, you want, we can give you an update on the sub, uh, subdivision map. What am I saying? Subdivision for the, the comprehensive plan. Vision We're actually plan. recessed. So, do you want to reconvene? I'll reconvene and let them use the 10 minutes. Yeah. Reconvene the board of commissioners. Yeah. This is just an informal uh, yeah. update. So, basically, we sent out letters to all the all the mayors, all the township trustee presidents, uh, you know, throughout the entire county, mm -hmm. including, we even included Talmadge and, and Mago since they're partners in mm -hmm. Portage County. Um, as we discussed before, we want 20, 20 or so folks in on the vision plan and then 20 or so folks on the comp plan with some crossover mm -hmm. in between. And you know, not going, that's what we got, uh, but that's what we're shooting for. We're asking them to respond to us by the 25th of June. Um, the vision plan meeting will be July 8th. We haven't had, we don't have a location yet for that. You're on the vision plan. Okay. And we don't have a place yet or a time for that, but we'll set one of those. We have the game plan all set up for how that's going to go. And then the comp plan will meet uh, at the end of, towards the end of July, but, and, and they're going to do their kind of things you know, parallel, but you know, the vision plan will be ahead of the comp plan because the comp plan is actually implementing what the people from the vision plan recommend. And it's going to be exciting. I, I, mean, I think it's going to be, I'm excited as heck. It's going to be really exciting. So, you know, we, so a couple of the townships already wrote back and said, can we send our zoning inspector because we're too busy to do this? I'm just, I'm just I'm like, of course they can. You know, mm -hmm. they can send it where they, they think it's appropriate. But I, I would really like to get as many uh, elected officials in there right. as possible. I think the other important thing, too, um, with that comp plan, which is something we haven't done before, but I think it's really important because it's such an important uh, plan for the entire county, is we're going to do the 30, 60, 90 day uh, complete mm -hmm. and send that out to all the agencies, all the communities. And say here, like 30% would basically be the existing conditions. The 60% 60, 60 would probably be with all the projections. And then the 90% would be when we, now we've got, you know, we've got our existing, we've got our projections, and this is the kind of, this is what we're, we're hoping to accomplish. Mm -hmm. And it isn't, it's not finalized, so give us your feedback. So everybody's going to get a chance to get feedback. We're going to make that as public as possible. We're going to have something at Arlen, Maine in, in early August to mm -hmm. help kick that off. We're going to have something at the county fair. We're going to have a community survey online for the entire county to mm -hmm. participate in. So, you know, we want as much public input as possible. You know, it's hard to get public input put for these things sometimes just because people are busy themselves. But we're hoping that we can really knock it out of the park. I mean, when you, when you have uh, the, uh, the meeting, mm -hmm. are you going to bounce around the county? We we have talked about that. I think what we'll do with our first meeting, it'll probably like you know, as, as part of the kickoff, mm -hmm. we'll talk about how the whole committee feels about that. Mm -hmm. One of the things we're going to do with that first meeting is kind of do the introduction, what we're trying to do, what the you know, overall um, mission of the, of, the, of the committee is. But then I'm going to have us break out to do the you know the squad analysis, strength and weakness, weakness and that kind of thing. Rather than have all 20 people shouting out their ideas, I'm going to have a break up into the four corners of the county. Mm -hmm. So the four corners can talk about what's happening more, more specifically what's happening in their area. And plus, if you have a, a dominant two or three people in there, which I'm sure we'll have maybe more than two or three dominant people in there, mm -hmm. you're only going to hear from them. So by breaking it out, you'll have one each group. Yeah, you only hear from one group. But we'll, but we'll able. But uh, the idea is to hear from each corner of the county and then bring that all back and then we can hear what the bigger picture is. So again, it's all about the bigger picture. So. Can't wait. I think it's going to be fun. No, that's it's good. It's going to be good. You know, I have to make a comment, Todd. Since I've been here, I have seen 
your department has kind of developed, and I think we're finally utilizing your skills. And because I don't think we were really you know, good. no, you were not. No, That's good. <laughs> but but I mean, I think you're you're really coming into being here. That yeah. you're, you're doing what yes, you know how to do. Could you please? He drives his mess up. We do a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. There's a lot of things I did when I was in Florida that I, know. that I never I know. had a chance to use. And that's just, it's just a matter of time. But it's right. just, and it's just the, the way it goes. I mean, things well, are good, then he's so busy he can't do, utilize his true skills. And then if it's too slow, then he ends yeah. up doing the, the minutia stuff because the maybe minutia. they don't have this Well, stuff. so when, you know, when I was helping Jog County out, I will tell you that I would, I would, I could not, and they were trying to hire me up there and stuff like that, you know, know how Ralph is. And so, <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't Ralph, it was Skip. Well, Skip, and, well, Skip was no longer a com commissioner, but Ralph, they, they, they were all that way. They were funny. Yep. They're, they're nice, they're nice guys. I really like them. But, but at the same time, the, you know, to the point, the, the minutiae, we just did, they, they, in Jog County, they just did what the, co the, the Highlands Code said. Mm -hmm. We're just going to do zoning, and we're just going to do subdivisions, and nothing else. Yeah. Nothing else. And there's so much we could do to help support the townships and the villages and everybody, you know what I mean? Including the commissioners. So yeah. it's just like, oh my gosh, there's so much more you can do. There's so much more. That's right. Because we're more service oriented, and we do go above and beyond. Well, one and of that's the, what we want. Yeah, one of the things about that, the plan too, is it's not just a, you know it's the big picture of what we want to be someday, but it's also the marketing. It's also a marketing tool, kind of like we showed you with with, with, with Brimfield Township. Mm -hmm. It's going to be such an awesome marketing tool for the county. I mean, and it can be changed and modified, and it's just going to it's going to put our best foot forward to the outside world. You know, I just think it's going to be awesome. And that's what I like to think of Portage County as being forward thinking, mm -hmm. and it starts with our level. Yeah. So. And you know, a good way to that is you know through the comprehensive plan or vision, and yeah. we sort of set the tone for that. Absolutely. You, well, you guys especially, you guys are our leaders. So. And as the tone changes, you can update it. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? As commissioners change, you can update it. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Yeah. 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 You just have such a passion for what you do. I mean, it shows. Oh, well, thank you. That's yeah. UFOs and all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How'd that ever work out? Oh, it's yeah. still we're, we're still working on it. Um, <laughs> Mayor talking. Patrick said next year for the UFO. Yeah, Mayor, we're going to have a, a UFO festival next year. <coughs> so, a year or two? Yeah, Mayor Patrick's in, in favor of it. So. I can't wait to see. Got to advertise in Cleveland for that. Uh, we're going to advertise yeah. nationally. Yeah. You know that, what, that's seriously. Gonna be, yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be a fun. It should be a fun event. It's, yeah. You know, I had somebody. I actually had somebody. For, Yesterday, with the celebrated quarters talking about it, and they just said, So long as we do the UFO and make it a fun thing, which of course, why wouldn't we? Because yeah. yeah. she said she was freaked really out by the picture. Yeah. What do you see Todd's outfit he's going to wear? What do you see outfit A little salt and full hats and stuff like that. But anyway. It'll be more spandex. <laughs> spandex than we ever had. No spanks. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. <laughs> about you guys. I know. Yeah, it's some, a little exciting. Some people really like the UFO, and some people like are like Lisa, and like, yeah, I don't want to. I'm actually, to be honest, I'm just tired of hearing about it. Yeah. yeah. You know, he would have to tell everybody that you know. He's told us right how many times though, but he has pictures. And yeah, yeah pictures. it is neat. I tell you, I mean, those pictures get me chills. I've seen them. Yeah. I've seen them twice, but I, I, I still have an interest every time. Well, but you know, Elvin, it's Elvin's brother. Who saw yeah. It, I guess he said he said that uh, he, he saw some more. Uh, just recently, it was one. Yeah, so put that on. Find what frequency you put that so they come. <laughs> yeah, like I that said. That weekend. Uh -oh, I just think yeah. one of these days he's just going to be abducted. Well, you know, I, 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 I say I'm not going to. We're talking too much. I'm not going to hang out. I can just see this. There'll be more tin foil and spandex than we've ever seen at this this uh, event. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, let's just have fun. We still got a couple minutes. I'm sorry. It's 10:27, so we still have three minutes before we can start the public hearing. Even though, you know, I tried to jump start it twice. Yeah. <laughs> just, just get it done, right? I'm going to carry Hold back. The three minutes. Oh, you know what? I kind of got these. <laughs> Did everyone get a chance to sign in? Okay. Thank you. Todd, did you sign in? I did not. No. It was being passed around, I guess. There we go. And there's two of them, just so you know. There's three of them. There's three, actually, we signed. 
right, Amy? Sure. Yeah, it's, I think we it should be two, through. but it's okay. okay. All right. Oh, should I sign the other one too? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay. It's on the two that I care about. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wow, Lisa. Tell us how you feel. No, I can sign one. This is the last one, just for your. Why is there three? Because. Because I was on it. Okay. Probably the, the, because they thought five would be excessive. <laughs> Good point. That's okay. More the merrier. They thought the Manaway thing was probably Oh, uh, well, no. Yeah, it's ten point. Isn't it close enough for government work? Does that work for government work? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just doing it, you know. You just said kidding. a lot. the Board of Commissioners and open it up for the um, public hearing for the 2021 Community Development Critical Infrastructure Grant uh, for Maple Grove Road and Wyndham Village. Go ahead, Lisa. Alrighty. This is for public input on a uh, critical infrastructure grant uh, we are applying for on behalf of the commissioners. The village uh, is proposing to use these funds uh, for a project on Maple Grove Road. A total of 1,600 <coughs> linear feet of water lines will be replaced along with 1,500 linear feet of sidewalk. The proposed improvements consist of replacing the entire water line service and fire hydrants along Maple Grove Road. Sidewalk and ADA ramps will be replaced, uh, which, will, which provides ADA access and spot curb repairs uh, where service laterals need to be replaced um, will be done. Several new water valve installations and tie-ins will complete the upgrades. Maple Grove Road serves a critical area in the village providing access to Captain Thomas Elementary School which serves grades preschool through grade four. The water line is critical infrastructure to half the village with no secondary source and serves a vulnerable population of low moderate income residents as well as the elementary school. The current condition is very poor with recurrent failures and an urgent need for replacement. Um, the construction cost is estimated at $474,050, which includes uh, $25,000 for administration. Um, the Village of Wyndham will contribute 48,000 of their funds towards the cost uh, to complete the sidewalks, ADA ramps, and curbs. Is this in a nutshell? Does anyone have any questions? Any public comments? No. I ain't nothing to move on. Go are you going to pass the resolutions after? We have to go back and end this session. Okay, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Roll call. Sabrina. Yes. Tony. Yep. Vicki. Yes. Okay. Thank you. We'll reconvene as the Board of Commissioners. And I'll make a motion to authorize the filing of an application for the 2021 Community Developmental Critical Infrastructure Program grant funds and enter into an administrative agreement with Portage County Regional Planning Commission. Second. Roll call. Sabrina. Yes. Vicki. Yes. Tony. Yes. 
Great. Okay, we're going to recess the Board of Commissioners. And unfortunately, we've got 10 more minutes until yes. the next one. Yes. We'll recess until 1045 for the next public hearing, which is going to be for the critical infrastructure grant for Pratt Street in Ravenna. I don't want to go more I need to go stretch my legs. <laughs> I was just going to say, I do if you need a look. No, no, that's that's oh. this that's this project. I'm like, no. <laughs> what was that body you left out there? did when I had my furnace installed. Yeah. Did yeah. you? Yeah. Just because I thought, you know, it's the second furnace I put in and I didn't, it wasn't really a thing when I put in the first furnace. Mm -hmm. So it's the house's third furnace. So it's like 50 yeah. years of dust. Seems like it clogs that. I think especially if you have a pet, mm -hmm. you have to do that. Well, there's been numerous pets over the years, so. Tuffy probably has a lot. Well, he's got long hair. He does. I had him trimmed up pretty good yesterday, but he's not flush over. Where's he hiding? There's a, no, he's not Is hiding. That it? No. What did, what did I ever do to mom? Look at me. <laughs> Summer haircut, Tuffy. I tell you, I sure love that boy. Mm. I miss my dog. But I'm just so busy. It wouldn't be fair to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I say I like other people's dogs, and I I like dogs, but it's like there's so much involved with oh, their care. Oh, th it's a big responsibility. It is, and it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, if you take care of them, oh, their yeah. shots, their yeah. flea tick. He had to have an allergy shot this year, which he's never had to have before, but. Allergies are just so bad this year, and it worked. So, wow. Yeah. Nothing like a dog, though. I grew yeah. up with dogs my whole entire life. This is the first year. Well, going on two years that we haven't had a dog, and I do. I I miss it. We have two cats, and they're affectionate, but it's not the same. No, as cats are so independent. I mean, they really are. They are. They're the ones who call and they say, "I'll oh, get with you later." You know? Yeah. Some <laughs> days my cats are friendly to me. Other days they're like, "Get out of my way." Yeah. Don't they're look very at me. independent. <laughs> <laughs> they're very moody sometimes. You know, years ago I talked to people, friends that uh, my sister was one of them. They spent thousands of dollars on mm. uh, if there was a leg, a joint, or something out of place, whatever. And I think, my gosh, why would you do that? And I got to tell you, I would mortgage my house for my dog. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing? That's awful. It's crazy, but you will. I know. And I swear on Facebook, if one friend's pet dies, 
Oh, 20. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. I'm like reading these and I it just makes you tear up when you're yeah. seeing them laying there with the little paw and then oh, they do the God. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm just I send David every once in a while, he'll give me said, Mom, you know Tuffy will pass someday. Oh, I no. said, David, I'm not a kid, but yes, I know that. <laughs> he, he said, said Mom, one day you'll, you'll pass. Yeah, he said, well, I'm just worried about you when that happens. And I said, hey, I've, I've lived through a lot of things. I mean, Is Tuffy certain. getting my inheritance? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I thought about it. <laughs> well, and that's the sad part. As much comfort and companionship they give senior citizens, it breaks my heart when the family just takes those pets and dump them off like at the dog yeah. ward. Oh. It's like, how could you do that to that animal? When you know, it just breaks uh, your heart. The thing about birds, because my roommate has a bird. Oh, he, I don't like birds. Birds live a really long time. Oh, yeah. Hundreds and people years. have to will their birds to people. They have to leave their birds to people in their will. Oh. Because birds can very likely I never thought about a bird. I've never had one. So I, I don't like birds. You know why? When I was growing up, my best friend had a little green parakeet named Misty. And Misty had a bouncy ball. And I made the mistake of picking up Misty's ball, and she, like, attacked me. She was me. And, and I don't, <laughs> no. And, and ever since, I don't like birds. But my now, my brother does, like, the parrot rescues. Like, he has an African mm -hmm. gray. And it, it's sad how people abuse them and yeah. they they get upset they pick their feathers oh off. yeah i've heard they, that I've african heard that. grays are very smart oh you should hear isaac and uh what's the other isaac and jake i mean my mom has one named Do jake talk? oh i'll be on the phone to my mom and i'm like i'll hear beep 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 i said is fedex or amazon there she goes no that's isaac He's imitating like a truck. Mm -hmm. You know how they make that beeping sound? Yeah, yeah. She goes, no, it's really good when he does that like two, three o'clock in the morning. Oh and, my and gosh. <laughs> oh my, gosh. Just... my roommate's bird barks like a dog. Oh yeah, they mimic. And you know, and he would, he'll do this. Roof, 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 roof. Yeah. Well, Isaac now says, Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Because my mom has a, a American Bulldog puppy named Bubba, because he's a chubba Bubba. And he has to say, come on, boy. And it, but it sounds just like a human saying yeah. it. I mean. <laughs> that might be a good protection for well, when, I don't know. When yeah. I, the thing is, this bird's cage is right in my living room, which is where my home office is. Oh, my. So I was on the phone with an elected official in this county. And all of, all of a sudden the bird says, give me a kiss. And I said, no, mm -hmm. he doesn't want to give you a kiss. He doesn't know you. <laughs> well, well, give me a kiss. My brother has fostered some. Now he has younger kids. When I say younger kids, they're probably 12 and 14, but he's had some birds good. that, boy, they have some potty mouths because you can tell oh. Oh. That they've been around either their owners or in abusive relationships oh, or something, my. and they just boo. Can you some nasty them? I mean, well, <laughs> They just they learn to mimic. You just hope that they pick up different things to yeah, say. Yeah. Yeah. If they don't hear it anymore, maybe three more, or four more minutes. <laughs> Hi, Brian. How are you? Is it Brian? Pat. Patrick. Pat Jeffers. Pat Jeffers. What did they say? I got a sign letter from Brian. Brian Huff, that's probably our uh, finance director. Oh, uh, I was going to say, that's where. Okay. I'm not losing it. <laughs> says, like, I there is a Brian. There. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay, Sabrina. You're okay. Huh. I don't know. I think the bird is going to have Well, you know, it's been a long week.
And you know the story about the parrot, guy's pet parrot, picked up bad habits, you know, with rotten language. So the owner decided to punish him by putting him in the freezer for a few minutes. In the freezer? <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. <laughs> so, yeah, after a few minutes, he pulls the board out and he says, okay, now you're going to quit using bad language. And he says, yes, I will, but what did the chicken do? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Barb. That is. That's good. I know you were still here, Barb. I didn't see you. I'm in the corner. A lot more. I'm going to have to tell that to my brother. He'll get a kick out I'm of that. I'm surprised you've never heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had one named Ike. He was like Ike Turner. He was one of the ones that must have been with abusive oh. uh, owners. Oh yeah, he could say some pretty foul <laughs> words. One more minute, everyone. you we got to reconvene and then recess into the public hearing mm -hmm. or since we're already recessed we're Let's already i think you have to go back, we have back, yeah, in back, back, back out okay get back at someone okay. patrick did you sign you signed in yes yeah. yeah okay perfect all three of them or all two of them no we yeah. just signed the one just because one he's his. just here okay. for that one for this one I didn't think it was necessary for him to sign the other one since he wasn't here for <laughs> one for one. He wants to show his support for the other person. Yeah, we support them. Okay, Barb, you're going to read the Board of Commissioners and then we're going to recess. Um, for, uh, public hearing for the 2021 Community Development Critical Infrastructure Grant for Pratt Street, Pratt Street Ravenna. Go ahead, Lisa. Okay, Pratt Street is located on the south side of downtown Ravenna with the affected section being located between East Main Street and East Riddle Avenue. Just so everybody can mm -hmm. kind of get a visual, it's basically the CVS Pharmacy, mm -hmm. between the CVS Pharmacy and the Subway Plaza, mm -hmm. that road there. Um, the critical driving issue for this project is the water line. The water line along this road was constructed somewhere between 1930 and 56, and it has exceeded its 50-year design line. The water line is only four inches in diameter, not meeting the minimum six inches to provide adequate flow to the fire hydrants. The road surface on Pratt Street is de deteriorated due to age and it was last resurfaced about 18 years ago. The new water line would need to be placed within the road, roadway due to the mature trees and the tree lawns. Once the road is excavated to replace the failed water lines and, and connect the water services, the road surface will need to be restored. In order to prevent having to cut into a uh, freshly paved road to make repairs to aged infrastructure in the near future, deteriorated catch basin curves and driveway aprons will be replaced prior to roadway resurfacing. Um, damage sidewalks will be brought up to ADA standards as well. The construction cost of this project is estimated to be 340,000 with an additional 20,000 for administration costs. The city of Ravenna is seeking uh, 270,000 grants to support this project and provide matching funds in the um, 30,000 from its storm fund, 30,000 from its paving fund, 15,000 from its water fund, and 15,000 from their general fund to complete the balance of the improvements for the project and the funds needed to cover the cost. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, did you want to comment? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, it's, a, it's an area that certainly needs improvement with the water line. We've got a fire hydrant on the street there that's got an out-of-service tag on it right now. Water does come out of the hydrant, but just not at the, at the volume that the fire department would like to be able to, to safely put out a fire. So they'd have to wait for a, a tanker truck from the, from the township to arrive to, to, to put out a fire instead of using the hydrant there. So it's certainly a, a safety issue to try and get this water line replaced. Uh, additionally, we've had uh, 
an email from one of the residents out there complaining about the water pressure and trying to, mm -hmm. to make sure that they have an adequate pressure to run a couple couple fixtures at the same time. So putting a newer, larger water line in will be a big improvement to the area. Okay, thank you. Do, do we have any questions from the audience? Do you have any idea, like, so that's just a couple blocks that they're gonna be replacing. How, how much of the other streets around them are under the same water pressure or is it just that street? It's mainly the street, this stretch here that's still a four inch line that hasn't been replaced recently. It goes in between Main Street and Riddle. The, mm -hmm. the, uh, the water lines on Main and Riddle have both been replaced in the, in the recent, recent past. Okay. And uh, I believe south of Riddle, continuing down, down Pratt Street, I believe they've got a, a wa larger water line that's been replaced not too, re not too far in the past as well. We've been trying to trying to hit a lot of these smaller four-inch mm -hmm. lines in residential neighborhoods that that aren't quite up to today's standards. How many more do you have left? Quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> more than you want to know. Yeah. We got a couple good waterline projects in every year, so, okay. so we're making a good headway. good good headway <coughs> on them. But we've st certainly still got a ways to go. Okay. okay. Is there any other questions? Uh, yeah, would this have an impact on the safety of the, the fire safety of the buildings around the area? Certainly, the uh, there if they wanted to use the hydrant there on Pratt Street, this would would provide a great greatly increased safety for the for the neighborhood. Um, in terms of some of the the bigger buildings and the commercial, the commercial stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, they probably use the hydrants along Main Street or along Riddle Avenue for for those, and those are uh, provide adequate water for for those needs. Okay. Do we have any other questions? Okay. Not. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Um, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Tony seconds. Roll call. Sabrina. Yes. Tony. Yes. Vicky. Yes. Okay, we'll reconvene as the Board of Commissioners. And we're going to read the resolution. Board of Commissioners moves to authorize the father of the application for 2021 Community Development Critical Infrastructure Program grant funds and enter, enter into administrative agreement with Portage County Regional Planning Commission. Second. Roll call. County. Yes. Baby. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much you, for guys. coming in. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. Um, we're going to recess until public comment at sure. 11. Do we have public comment today? Is anyone going to speak today? Not yet? We'll still wait till 11. But <laughs> we'll recess till 11 until public comment. And then, who's coming in for the G1 employment? Is that? Kelly Jo. Who is that? I believe that's the one you Ours. Call. Ours, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, that would be, that'd be fine. I have no issue with you doing that at all. Okay. Just yeah. call them. It's, it's, it'll okay. have the same seat as the board. Yeah. Looking yeah. and everything. And it's, uh, I'll, I'll ask her. She, she's yeah. willing to do that because yeah. she, uh, uh, the boo boos, and just tell you, no, we'll take for five, ten minutes out just to see if you yeah. feel. Oh, that'd be free. great. Feel Thanks free. Just give me a call. Yeah. We'll, we'll make sure we can bring her down and let her, we'll get her on, we'll get her on it. We have to set her on it. We'll get her on it. Get a boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. <laughs>
But the lift is available. Well, she, she, <laughs> she can put her on the way. And she had, she just started walk, trying to walk normal. We just started. We can get a little, little step yeah. stool right she beside her. With her left leg, she could stand. And okay. Like I said, that guy was showing slide onto this, not to yeah. try to set up. Feel, feel free. Course. All right. I'll, I'll tell you that, that, way, that way at least you know, know that what you're getting into. I, they're I, all I, basically the same when you get into that size. Yeah. Yeah. They're a lot heavier than what you're used to. Yeah. What, what, was mine, mine was like 750 and a half. Mine's 800 or something. So, yeah. so it's something. within 100 pounds. Yeah. That, that'd be pretty cool. I like that Army Navy store. I didn't realize it was there by you guys. Isn't it kind of neat? Uh, I've been in four times. Right? Yeah, it's pretty neat. <laughs> and I, I went in about once a month just to talk. I, I, just, I, I just like it. Yeah, they're good people in there. They do mostly online sales. Thank you. They do a lot of their stuff online. Oh, really? Between different companies. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of stuff online. So They have a pretty good selection on all yeah. the Army Navy stores I've been in. They do. That's, that's, a, that's yeah. a pretty good tell Debbie, you guys are more welcome. I'll, 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 I'll tell her that, uh, see if she, uh, if her nerve will go, go with that. It'll be a nice test. I, I, it will be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. When you, when do you have that? Tomorrow will be two weeks. Six. That's pretty good, though. Yeah, it turned out real good. So I asked that buddy of mine in Texas. He, he quit riding it because he did work and they did some other stuff to it, but he couldn't grab a hold of yeah. the throttle. That's where it was getting with me. Mm -hmm. So hopefully yeah. it's fixed now. I think he waited too long to have his done. The surgeon said the nerve was really bad in this one. I should have had it done five years ago. Do you have a decorvain or a trigger finger? I have a trigger finger and carpal tunnel. Oh, oh same. Oh, geez. That's I mean, good to get those, both those done at the same time. September, we're doing this hand. Are you really? Yeah, or, or October. I'm not doing it in the summer. Marina I had trigger finger. She's started changing the way she slept with her hands. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and that, and that took care of it. So. Mine was getting so when, in the evening when I was tired, if I grip my hands, sometimes I actually had to open it back up. Yeah. And he said it's rare, but on rare occasions you do close your hand and it won't open back up again mm -hmm. without surgery. I said, yeah, let's just fix it. Yeah, fix it. Throw that, throw that by Debbie and see what she I says. Just text her. See if she, uh... She'll be alright just when I was expecting any curves or <laughs> big bumps or pop hole or something. Take it, go as far as you want to go. Yeah, because she's not. She, that, that compression fracture is really starting to bother her a lot. Yeah. We'll adjust the air ride a little bit, make it a little softer for her. Do you do that while sitting on the bike, or do you have a, is there a control, or do you have to? Do I, I, I have to manually, manually do it, do but it. if you're going to do that, I'll. Yeah, that, that's what. I'll, I'll fight. I got a little bit tight right now. We'll just let a little pressure out, make it a little smoother, mm -hmm. so when you hit a bump, it's not so jarring. Yeah. That'd be that'd be pretty. Thank you. That'd be very cool. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't ride down Rancho Road. <laughs> oh, that Ranfield's bad. Oh, yeah. Where, where, where's that? 
that's uh, like from um, Old Forge down to uh, about Sachs, that stretch in here. Okay. If you, if you have a load of two befores or something on a pickup truck, you drive down there, they'll be out in the road. Really, that bad? Huh? Yep. It's That'd pretty be. bad. I was down, Tracy and I were down Ranfield a couple weeks ago in a motorcycle before I had this done. It was really bad. Oh, yeah. <coughs> it's Actually, we were going to Dumas and then we went around there and rode Ranfield and stuff. And yeah, it's. That would stay on the big roads. Well, see, our, our roads were in front of my house. It's nice and smooth there. Yeah, and then yeah. you go right out to 14, and that's all state road. It's all good, so. Yeah. I was trying to maneuver potholes one day. Uh, yeah. The front tire hit, it was full of water, hit it, it was 18 inches deep. Oh my. Bike just went down and it stayed right up because it just sunk down to the front. Mm -hmm. yeah. that... Scared of the EBG or something. Yeah. You see that, uh, that retire, he's getting ready to retire, deputy in Portage, uh, or Geauga, last Sunday. He got hit two deer on the way home. I, I saw that. Yeah. He uh, it killed both deer on site. Uh, there, he got busted up pretty bad. No doubt. Yeah, I did see that. No public comment. So do we have Michelle? Do we have any public comment in chambers? Oh. Okay, if not, um, executive. yeah, we're going to executive session. Board moves go into executive session in accordance with Ohio Revised Code 121.22. A motion to enter into executive session in regards to G1 consider employment of a public employee. Second. Roll call. Yes. 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 Thank you. yes. 